Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Gopi. If you follow this channel, you know that one of my favorite media is water-soluble oil pastels slash crayons. And at this point, I own a couple of sets, so I felt it was time to compare them. The crayon sets that will be featured in this video are the Mungyo uh, watercolor crayons, the Caran d'Ache Neo Color number no. twos, the uh, Stabilo Woodies, and finally the Mongyo Aquarelle Oil Pastels. In this video, I will be creating an art piece that consists of four almost identical birds. This video is not going to include any swatching because the video would be very long and also there's plenty of other videos on YouTube that is basically um, swatching so if you're interested in that go check those out. I also have reviews uh, on three of these products that you can find on my channel if you're interested. The first set that I'm trying out is the Mongyo watercolor crayon set of 36 crayons. I personally love this set. I have a couple of speed paints on my channel um, where I use this set. I especially love to use these crayons for fan art and portraits. If I had to describe um, what it's like to use these crayons, I would say they are actually very close to watercolor pencils. If there were an imaginary um, list or scale from watercolor pencils all the way to water soluble oil pastels, then this crayon set would definitely fall on the watercolor pencil side. Even though they come in a crayon form, they actually do perform a lot like watercolors, or better say watercolor pencils. You can draw with them straight on the paper, activate with water, they activate very nicely on paper, and also they have a very nice flow on the paper. They are not as heavy as watercolor crayons normally are. Compared to the other three watercolor crayon sets, these appear the most diluted and the most transparent. The only thing that I don't like about these crayons is that I find them to be a bit too hard. So when you draw with them straight on the paper, you really have to press down really hard. It's not a huge problem, you can work around it, but that could definitely be a minus for a lot of people. Also, I'm finding that this set is extremely good for layering and this is out of the four sets this is by far the best to work in layers. For instance, the next product that I will be reviewing are the Neo Color 2s. They are a lot more opaque and heavier than these crayons, and they also completely lift off the paper, so I personally find it really difficult to work with them in layers, but these um, Mongyo watercolor crayons are very good for gradually building up your textured work layer by layer, adding a couple of wet layers and then one or two dry layers. Also, going back to my previous point, saying that these crayons are actually closer to watercolor pencils than oil pastels. With these crayons, you definitely draw a lot. And that will become interesting when we uh, will compare them with the Mongyo uh, aquarelle oil pastels, which basically behave like oil paints, and that will be more, much more like a painting medium than a drawing medium. So I think that's kind of an interesting aspect of this whole comparison. At the end of the day, all of these crayons and pastels are great, so it's really up to your personal preferences what you like to use in your art. So here's the finished piece with the Mongyo watercolor crayons. Compared to the other three sets, they will look a little bit more diluted, but again, that is something that is up to personal preference. The next set that I will be trying out are the Neo Color 2s. Originally, I bought a set of 30 crayons, I think, like one of the smaller sets. 
then uh, I went and bought some additional colors open stock because all of these crayons are available open stock pretty much all over the world so that's a huge plus. So right off the bat, I will say that out of the four sets, I'm, I'm finding the Neo Color 2s to be the most difficult to work with and these are kind of my least favorite. I'm sure I'm shocking a lot of people with this revelation because I know that Neo Colors are extremely popular on YouTube. So many artists love and use them for all kinds of purposes, for journaling, drawing, painting, they are very versatile, you can do a lot with these crayons. And my problem with this um, particular product is that, you know, I was talking about this imaginary scale starting from watercolor pencils all the way to water soluble oil pastels. And these crayons are somewhere in the middle. And when I look at the properties and try to use them as oil pastels, they are too hard for oil pastels. But when I try to use them more like watercolor crayons or watercolor pencils, they don't really behave like those either. Since they completely lift off the paper and also are kind of thick and gouache-like, I find it very easy to um, create a lot of mud on the paper. So I, I often just end up pushing this mud-like paste around the paper that will just not settle. and. I personally find it really frustrating. That said, I don't want to just bash Neo Color 2s because that would be really unfair. This set also has a lot of positive properties and attributes. For instance, the fact that it comes with by far the biggest color selection out of all the water soluble crayons. And all of those colors are available open stock. You really don't have to buy an entire set. You can just purchase individual colors and set up your own palette. For instance, in retrospect, I kind of regret that I bought that set because later on I figured out that there were so many other colors that I did prefer over the colors that came in the set. So I think it's best to just buy colors individually and set up your own personal palette. But of course, you do you. Do however you like. To be perfectly honest, I never use Neo Color 2s exclusively to make a piece. How I personally like to use them is to accompany the Mangyo Aquarelle oil pastels because they kind of go on top of the activated uh, Mangyo oil pastels and I can create all the details that I'm otherwise unable to do because the Mangyo aquarelle crayons are just a lot chunkier. So for the third piece, I will be using the first set that I got, which is the um, Stabilo Woody 3-in-1 crayons. I have recently uploaded a very detailed review on these crayons, so in this video I will just keep it very brief. I love the Stabilo Willis. They are one of my favorite sets. And in this particular video, in this comparison, I think the Stabilo Woody drawing came out the best, but that's just my opinion. When it comes to qualities, they are actually very close to the Neo Colors, except somehow the um, watercolor and oil pastel effects, in my opinion, come out slightly better than the Neo Color 2s. And also, somehow, I end up creating less mud. The Stabilo Woodies, unlike Neo Color 2s, come in an extremely limited palette, only 18 colors. So, that is something to consider. Also, they are extremely overpriced. <laughs> so, think before purchasing water-soluble um, crayons, because these are one of the most expensive ones out there. Because of the limited palette, I like to use it along with other products. Although I have to say they are very good at mixing and drawing this little piece was actually great to remind me that you can create a lot of additional colors mixing these 18 colors together. So those 18 colors are actually super versatile. You can make a lot of colors using those. They mix really well. 
There's one issue that I have with this set, however, and that is something that I discussed in detail in my review video. And that is the fact that, unfortunately, these crayons do dry out a lot in dry, like hot and dry temperatures. So for instance, if you live in a southern area where you have really long and hot summers with not much rain and not, not much humidity, these crayons have a tendency to dry out and also to crack and i actually lost some of the uh, like some of the tips actually broke off on me and which is really frustrating because these crayons are expensive and you want to use them up and then when they just crack on you then that's a very frustrating experience so that's kind of the only problem that i have other than that i really like this set and uh, I really enjoyed making this small piece because I haven't used these crayons in a while. And also because they were the first ones that I got, I also have some kind of an emotional attachment to these crayons. So yeah, I love the Stabilo Woodies. They are a very amazing product. Another thing that I'm unable to show in this video is that you can also draw with them on different surfaces for instance wood and also glass so if you like to create interesting artworks on your window these are the crayons to buy i love experimenting with these crayons on my windows and i recently found out that some of my neighbors actually saw my artworks on my windows so um, yeah if you like to decorate your flat and draw on your windows stabilo woodies are the crayons to choose Okay, so here's the uh, finished piece and also the rest of the drawings so far. And the final drawing is going to be done with the Mangio Aquarelle Oil Pastel set, which is going to be slightly different than the previous one. Like this is kind of the full-on oil pastel experience. When you activate these crayons on paper, they become like oil paints. They are very heavy and thick, and they are primarily a painting medium that you can also draw with, but they are more like paints. If you watch my channel, you know that I love this set and I frequently use these oil pastels in different projects. I think they are amazing. If you're interested in how these pastels perform in bigger pieces go and check them out i actually have a playlist called water soluble oil pastels and that is mostly videos on the mongo aquarelle oil pastels speed paints mostly and i also have two reviews on this set so if you're interested i i recommend that you go and check those out like I said, these um, crayons are basically oil pastels and one of the softer ones. The consistency is very similar to the Sennelier oil pastels. They are very thick and soft and you can only lay them on paper in like very thick layers. Although you can dilute them with water and that's kind of the point in water soluble oil pastels, but nonetheless, this is a very thick medium and the result is going to be much like an oil painting. And if you're someone like me who loves to paint but at the same time dislikes both acrylics and oil paints because of the smell and the chemicals, then this could definitely be an excellent alternative. It is a very cheap medium. It is actually the cheapest out of all the four sets. It have amazing results, super easy to use, very easy to correct mistakes in your piece. No fumes, no toxic smells, and a very fast, amazing looking result. So I think this medium is amazing. The Mongyo, um Aquarelle Oil Pastels are actually my favorite product in all of 2021 I can only recommend them although I have to say that 
The only drawback that this set has is the limited palette, only 24 colors, and also the fact that the crayons themselves are super chunky, so it's a bit tricky to work around the details. So that's when the Neo Color 2s come into play. So that's how I like to use the Neo Color 2s to create all the details that I was unable to do with the Mongo pastels. But as you could see in this piece, you can also just lay down some color um, and use them like oil paints from a palette and create all the details with a finer detail brush. I also like to use the Durban drawing pencils for details because those pencils are very opaque and also very soft and they are actually able to go on top of these otherwise very soft um, pastels. So here you can see me uh, label all the finished pieces. I have already removed the masking tapes and just to um, keep in mind which media mediums I used for which drawings I'm just uh, putting down the names. So thank you again for watching this video. Let me know in the comments which one is your favorite. I hope this video helped you make up your mind which set to choose. Thank you again for watching. See you in my next video. Bye bye.